Hi everybody, it's me Brandy with Be Vintage Fashion and Decor and it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera with my face. Usually you're just seeing the hands. Um, so I actually am traveling right now for work and I'm in the Dayton, Ohio area and I went to a shop called Valley Thrift in Kettering. So if you're ever down in this area, definitely, definitely, if you love to thrift, stop in that store. They're very nice in that store and they're very well priced. I found today, and I wish I could have bought them all because they probably had about 10, at least 10 to 12 jewelry jars. And they were just, you know, a good size, like a regular vase size jewelry jar. Um, and what's funny is when I walked in there, because I had been in earlier in the week, I walked in, I'm like, wow, they, they, somebody came and wiped out the cases, but they actually replenished the cases and took everything that was in there and, um, anything that hadn't sold, stuck them in the jewelry jars. So inside the jewelry jars, there's all this jewelry with the, the price tags on them, but their jewelry is really well priced. And I found quite a few treasures from there. I can't wait to show you the jewelry jars that I bought. I bought three of them and I've also bought some loose pieces of jewelry as well too that weren't in jars. So I'll be making some videos when I get back to my home. I'll be making those videos. Um, I really didn't want to pull all the jewelry out while I was down here um, and possibly lose some. So what I'm coming to you today with is actually a purse haul that I did. And unfortunately, if you don't like black purses, uh, you're out of luck because for some reason, every purse that I found um, during this trip was a black purse. Um, there was really no colorful purses at all, except there was one Chala bag that, um, and I hope I, hope I said that right, the ones with the animals on it, the dog, you see when they have the, their leather and they have the dogs and the horses and the cats. And this one was a brand new tote, still had the tags on it. And this guy was picking it up as a Christmas present for his daughter. Um, and it still had the tags, like I said. It was a, it was an adorable tote with the uh, horse on the front. But it's going to a good cause. It's going to his daughter for Christmas. So um, can't fault him for that. I'm so glad he actually found it for her. Uh, it sounded like a really uh, sweet little present he was getting for her. He was going to put a gift card in it and stuff. So anyways, so that being said, after I rambled on a lot, I have a few black bags that I want to show you. One actually came from Goodwill, and then the other ones actually came from um, the Valley Thrift. So there is a nice Goodwill down here, and um, I went to that one, but like I said, I only found the one bag. I was really looking for a red bag. I did see one at an antique store down here that I went to, but it was an antique store, so they were asking quite a bit for, it was a vintage coach bag in great shape. Anyhow, let's move on. So I'll show you what I got. Now keep in mind, these are all, they're all going to be uh, for sale and none of them have been cleaned or shined up yet. They are literally fresh from the store. So the first one is, oh, I should have put my glasses on, Antonio Milani. And um, it's a nice, nice, black leather bag look at the look at that I mean it it's in um, it's in really great condition I probably should move back a little bit so you can see um yeah there you go you can see that here's the front of the bag and I think once I clean it up with some nice leather cleaner which I would definitely do before I shipped it off because you can see there's like a little that's just a, a little spot that something's on there it'll come right off and all the bags that I got they they smell good the the straps i mean i really i really took a good couple times looking these over to make sure that they looked good the straps are great this one has a nice uh magnetic flap on the front i'm not sure you're gonna be able to see in there <laughs> it's actually sticking to the magnet paper clip so it's got a brown i'll show you the inside but the inside inside but you can kind of see the brown um, kind of shiny fabric. So it's got one, two, three slip pockets and a zipper pocket. And it also has these little toggles on the side that you can extend the bag even more. Maybe I'll do that so you can see inside of it. There we go. So 
So there's the inside. I turned all the lights on in here. Unfortunately, being in, I'm in a hotel room right now. In a hotel room, there's not the best lighting. I don't have my ring light because I wasn't expecting to make any videos. But you can see here's the zipper pocket. There's the logo. And I mean, that's even in great condition. And um, I mean, all the hardware is in excellent condition. Here is the, so there's the two slip pockets there. Here is the other slip pocket. And then over here, it just has the, has the made in China tag. Um, and it is super, super buttery. I mean, it's in great shape, super buttery soft leather. I felt this bag and I knew I had to grab it because it was in great condition and super soft leather. So all the bags, the pricing is going to be um, in the description box, along with the pricing for the shipping. The shipping, actually, I'll, the shipping, I will actually charge. Um, yeah, I'll put that in because I think I can uh, do all these bags in a, a smaller flat rate box, um, which should hopefully, we'll see, it should save money. I'll, I'm going to put the price in there of the cheapest way to ship it to you guys. Um, if you are within the contiguous United States. Um, I will go off of uh, the least expensive shipping that I can unless you want it sent a little bit faster. If you are outside of the United States, I'll still ship it to you, but I need to find out how much the shipping would be first because the shipping prices have gone up so, so much. So just keep that in mind. Okay, moving on. This is the one actually I found at Goodwill. It's a Vera Bradley, and I did see a cute Vera Bradley tote at this shop too, but they wanted, they wanted way too much for it. Um, this one, she just needs a, a, like a little vacuum really on the inside. The, the, the lining is in great shape. This little toggle here is in great shape. Let me show you the, like I'll show you the front of the bag. The Vera Bradley. It's got a cute little, um, initialed zipper. And then on the inside, there's one, two, two slip pockets right there, right there. Really nice clean interior. Oh, sorry you guys, the lighting's bad. And then here is the zipper pocket. And it has very little um, of the signature kind of Vera Bradley print. That's what I love about her quilted bags. Actually, I, I'm carrying a black quilted bag just like this right now. And um, they wear really well, they hold up really well and they hold a lot, which is what's really nice about them. So this is a great little side pocket for your phone, for some masks, um, for cosmetics or anything like that. Really cute. Okay. Now this one, I had to do like a double, triple uh, take on this bag because I have never, this is a vintage, vintage bag, a vintage leather, um, it's a very nice pebble leather Brahmin bag. And it's in great condition. On the inside, it is the, um, let me just pull this out actually, and I can show you hopefully in there. Now the base of it, I wish you could see that better. Can you see that? The base of it, um, it's got a little bit of age to it the very, very bottom, very, very bottom. It's not, let's see if I can get the light in there. No, oh, well, you know what, hold on. Let me see if I can do my, my flashlight. Okay, whoops, <laughs> I just, I'm trying to get it to where I, it can't, it won't show my home screen there. You see that? There you go. See that? Um, so it's in good condition. It just shows a little bit of age and it's a hard bottom. Um, it's almost like a, uh, a hard, hard suede bottom. And then the lining, this part, is almost like a, it's not, it's not, uh, it's 
It's not plasticky. It's like vinyl almost. Vinyl-ish. Oh, that's the back of this. So this side, the in, the interior is actually um, more of a satin. This is the vinyl-y part, which is the back flap of this. So this is actually embossed with Made in USA. Made in USA. It's also the pebble leather. It's got two slip pockets and then it's got two little pen holders. And then it has this, is this detachable? No. Has the um, key fob for your keys. Key, what do they call key fob? I call it key fob. Key hook. Okay, so that is actually, I pulled out the pocket. So that is actually the pocket. And this part is a zipper pocket up here as well too. I forgot to mention that. So there's the two slips, the pen slots, and then the zippered pocket. And zipper works great on it. Really, really nice. The zipper is a YKK zipper. Do you see? There you go, YKK. It's a YKK zipper. The pool has like a little bit, but that could just be trimmed off a little bit of wear. And then an adjustable strap. One second, you guys. Okay, I apologize for that. Somebody kept calling me. Um, so, yeah, it actually, it, oh, and it's got two pockets on the outside too. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Great bag, beautiful bag. And then there's the really nice, really nice metal marking. And then there's the straps again. This strap is in excellent condition. It's a gorgeous bag. It's a gorgeous bag. I thought it was a vintage coach because it was like this originally. And, and I'm like, what? Really? I've never seen that before. <laughs> and actually they're very hard to find these on the internet. Um, I did see a brown one similar to it for sale. Um, but yeah, especially in this good of condition, that was a nice find. And these last two bags are my favorite. And this one, I was surprised. I can't find one like it online. Um, it's, I mean, look at this beautiful, beautiful bag. Those are actually like gold chain. It maybe needs a little cleaning on here. Like you can kind of feel that like, um, it's, it's not like pitting, but probably if I took a little bit of uh, metal polish to it, it would clean it up nicely. And this is what it is. It is actually a Kate Landry bag. But when I opened this up, I was like, oh man, I'm so tempted to keep this bag. Look at how beautiful the interior of this bag is. So, I mean, extremely clean. The leather is extremely soft leather, has that one zipper here. Here is the, the little key hook. And then over here, it does say 100% cow leather made in China. And then that one, there's the Kate Landry tag. And then over here, there is three slip pockets. One, two, three. Um, just, oh, this is a pen, a pen holder here. See the pen flap? And then a zipper pocket up here. And like I said, the interior on this is extremely clean, extremely clean. And beautiful condition. This one, um, it doesn't smell bad. It almost smells a little bit like, like someone's perfume, but not like, I mean, I'm very sensitive to smells and um, it's not like, <gasps> it, it just smells, I mean, it, it smells very soft, if that makes sense, like a soft perfume, but not like a perfume dumped in it or anything. Isn't that gorgeous? And then look at the handle. You could tell, I could tell when I picked this bag up from the handle that it was a good quality bag. Beautiful bag. Once again, I'll put the prices of all these bags, um, what I'm asking for them in the description box. Sorry, I keep forgetting to look at the camera. So this next one is another one that I absolutely love. I've, I cannot find one like it on the internet. 
And um, so it's, it's definitely a harder to find bag. It is a Brighton bag. There's the signature Brighton heart. It is a pebbled leather with a patent leather basket weave. And Brighton is known for doing basket weave bags. Um, but I, if for some reason I could not find this one with these unique straps to it. Look at those. And then here is the leather on the strap, which also has the pattern. I mean, gorgeous bag. And then wait till you see the inside. So on the sides here, there are two little slip pockets for your phone or tissue or junk, whatever you want to stick in there. Um, and then the inside, there's the, inside's really, really clean. Here is the Brighton code. And then here is the key toggle. And then there are two zipper pockets. So here is one. Very nice wide pocket. This is a smaller bag. And then there's the other one with the, the uh, serial date code. Serial code, I guess not date code. Um, and then it's got the signature Brighton pattern on the lining. Beautiful red lining. Like I said, really great condition. Probably the only thing on this bag is you can barely see it. Like right up here. Just, just a little bit of, um, darkening of that red set or that red material. See that? You can barely see it. It's right there. Just from someone's hand probably going in there but it smells good. It doesn't smell like anything, really. There's the leather pull strap. And as you can see, this is just like a nice, nice little shoulder bag. And then there's the bottom. This, I did check, this comes off. It's like something crusty that I really don't wanna sit there and pick at with my fingers, but <laughs> I'll take some leather cleaner to it and it should come off. I should have probably even just tried to take it off with a little bit of water, but I did kind of mess with it a little bit in the store to make sure and certainly if you're interested in this bag, I will let you know that that comes off. So, okay. I wonder if I should try it now. I should just try water on it now, huh? See if it comes off. Let me, hold on. Cause I, that's gonna bug me. Okay, yep, came off. So crisis averted. It was just a bunch of smut. So um, the bag is now in great condition. Isn't that so pretty? That's such a pretty girl bag. You can kind of see and see how big it is on me. All right, guys. So yeah, that was all the purses that I got. Told you there wasn't a whole bunch, but they are all for sale. And like I said, I will have three jewelry jars coming up that I got from this particular store, along with some loose jewelry that I got from them as well. I will film that when I'm back up. Um, so I'll be back up there within uh, a day or two, back up home, and I will, um, definitely film a video to get out to you guys next week. So look forward to seeing that and make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you're not. And once again, I will put everything in the description box. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking everything out with me. It's so good to see you guys. If I don't see you again before the holidays, I hope you have a happy and safe holiday. And uh, here is to 2022 being a lot better than the last two years have been. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. Stay safe and stay beautiful.